Hi creators, I am super excited to do a flip through of our journals with you. I have been working on these for a few months. I'm really excited to go through it and show you everything that's included. Um, I'm just going to pull back here for a second. You see the blank journal and the monthly journal there? That is how they will show up when you download them in. Um, you have a choice of different colors of linen covers and I will show you that option a little bit later. Um, first, we're just going to do a quick walkthrough. We're going to go through the blank journal and then I'll show you the differences between the blank and the monthly journal. You get both of them when you purchase, so it's just knowing what is addressed in both of them that is going to be a help to you. Okay, first things first. Down here we have the aesthetic for the journal. There are six different optional color palettes that you can buy the journal in. So in each of the journals, it will show you what the fonts are and what your five different colors in the color palette are. You can use those to keep your spreads kind of in the same color palette, or you can do something completely different. Here is a quick run through of the color palettes for you guys. If you would do me a favor and just leave a comment below what your favorite is out of these six, that will help me to create color palettes that you love in the future, and it will really help my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Next we have page templates. I'll walk you through those in just a second. We have the pages of stickers, five pages and a sixth page that you can fill with whatever you want. And then alterna alternative colors for your covers. On this side you have the index. There are 12 tabs on the side and each tab you can fill with whatever you want. If this is for school you can have a different subject. Um, Anything that you need to use your journal for, you can fill it in with what you need. At the bottom, there's my YouTube channel. You can get to my YouTube channel where there are tutorials and inspiration. You can connect with me on Instagram, and then you can shop my accessories. Um, I'm going to be coming out with new stickers soon, as well as new planners, and um, just plenty of options for you to really dive into digital journaling and digital planning. Okay, so I'm going to go through each of these so you can see the spreads and see kind of how to use them. The first spread that we have is the blank spread. You can use this in between all of your tabs in whatever way you want. The dotted spread, wide rule, narrow rule, and graph paper. Okay, then we have the stickers. These are your first two pages of stickers. You have your stickies and your tabs on the side, your um, media on the second side, we have washi tape, patterns, uh, different words that you can use, note paper, scraps of paper, and lastly we have your stamps, your color swatches, and your wax seals that you can use throughout. And these are all in the color palette that you purchased. Okay, next we have all of your alternative covers. So you have five of them, one, two, three, four, and then we turn to your tabs. Okay, so this is the first tab. Each tab page is going to have the same color as the tab that it refers to. So for instance, we're on the first tab right now, which is this top cream color. If I click on the pink color down here, then you are going to get a pink page. Okay. Um, as an example of how you can fill out these pages, I've included this spread that I created myself. Um, this is one way that you can do it. There are plenty of different ways you can do it. You can pull in pictures, you can cut them out, um, and there are plenty of tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can go to to get all of the details that you need for that. Okay, so what is the difference between the blank journal and the monthly journal? I'm just going to show you really quick. Here you have your index. This is the blank journal, and so you create what the index is. In the monthly journal, it is a little bit different. So you can see on the side, all of the tabs have the months on them. And so you don't need the index because you can just click on the month in the tabs. But I've included 365 creative prompts, one for each day of the year. So what you can do in this creative prompt section is you decide, okay, so this month is February. I'm going to click on February. And it will take me to a spread that includes prompts for any day of the year. So for example, today is the fifth for me. And so I can pull in here and it's an ice cream sundae. And so I can use that as a jumping off point to get my creative juices flowing and come up with a spread to do. Um, and just to enjoy myself, kind of relax. Um, and so anyway, that's what's included with your monthly journal. 
Other than that, everything is pretty much exactly the same. I'm super excited about this. I feel like the color palettes really have bought, pulled together this time around. Um, you'll notice that I have the linen folder on the side. I've really worked on the details so that it can just look beautiful and um, classic and just clean um, for you. I really hope that you enjoy it and let's get journaling. Mm -hmm.